Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden features that you will find on your iPhone that you probably didn't know existed and of course I will show you guys how to enable a few of them because some of them are enabled actually by default. Now before we get into those amazing features, make sure you do an amazing thing and that's smashing the like button of this video. That of course will help this video do much much better and help out this channel channel a lot so make sure you don't leave the video without smashing the like button all right so first off we're starting with a very interesting feature and i want you to test it by yourself and you will see how it works so when you go to your settings and you go to display and brightness you will have here of course the option to auto lock your iPhone and that's a very good feature and I suggest everyone does that that of course for security reasons as well so if you have auto lock of course set at any time that you have did you know that there is a feature that works from here from the face ID sensors right there and what it does is that it won't let your iPhone screen dim or lock your iPhone when it knows that you're watching the iPhone. So let's say we have this at one minute right here. If I'm just staring at the iPhone without touching the screen, it won't dim and it won't lock the phone at all. But if I'm not staring at it and still have it in my hand here and not just interacting with the screen, it will of course lock. So it knows when you're watching your iPhone. So if you're reading something, then it will know it and of course won't dim and won't lock the screen of your iPhone. Now to enable that, you will need to go ahead and go under accessibility right here we'll have face id and attention and make sure you have here attention aware features enabled that will make this feature come alive and of course keep the iphone screen awake when you're reading something and of course don't have to worry about the screen dimming down and locking the iphone now another thing this will do is that when it knows that you're watching the phone so you're reading something you're doing something on your iphone you get a notification or you get a phone call if you have the volume all the way turned up it won't just like blast the screen the the speakers of your iphone with a high volume of no of notifications or a phone call it knows that you're actually watching the phone and of course you will have notifications with much lower sound a pretty cool feature of ios which you don't need to actually enable it is enabled by default is the audio zoom feature i'm pretty sure most of you guys won't know what this is so how audio zoom works basically when you're shooting video you tap to focus on one of your subjects and audio zoom will actually focus the audio the microphones directly to that subject that you're focusing on and try to cancel all the other noises so of course it will pick the sound from that object where you're focused so maybe like if you're focusing on an animal or maybe an interview something like that you will notice that the sound will be picked up much louder from the subject that you have focused now another great feature that everyone should enable on their iphone is the ability to have noise cancellation on phone calls and that of course not using airpods just using your iphone you go to settings go under accessibility and right here under audio and visuals you will have the options to enable phone noise cancellation so basically this will do reduce the ambient noises when you're talking to someone on your phone of course if you're in an environment where it's like loud sounds and stuff like that it will try to minim minimize those sounds as much as possible of course to get a much clearer sound through the microphone one of the best iOS features and basically Apple features is the ability to copy and paste from your iPhone to your Mac. I don't know if you know this, but if you have a Mac and you have an iPhone, did you know that you can basically just copy anything on your iPhone or your Mac? You can do it vice versa. Of course, I can copy this text right here and just go ahead and paste it right there on my Mac. As easy as that. You copy something on your Mac, you can just come and paste it on your iPhone. It is really cool. Now to enable that, you will need to make sure that you go to settings and then go to general and make sure you go to AirPlay handoff and of course have handoff enabled and then you will have these amazing features that will allow you to basically start something on your iPhone and continue it on your Mac or vice versa. If you ever need your iPhone serial number or maybe your IMEI number 
or module number, anything you need like that. You can easily find them, of course, by going to the about section under the general settings. But did you know that you don't have to actually type them manually? All you gotta do is just tap and hold on one of them and you will have the option here to copy them and of course easily use them anywhere you like. And you can do that even for your devices that you have connected of course to your iCloud account. You just go to your Apple ID at the top of the settings app you have the devices list and you can go ahead and copy it. in this case maybe i don't have my apple watch handy and of course i need the serial number i can go ahead and copy from here or anything else i want from the list of the details here on my device when you go to your passwords and accounts under the password section on the settings app you have of course your accounts right here and you can easily share this username or password with someone now if you want to do that you can just tap the share button right there and you will have of course here your devices and you can go ahead and share that via airdrop to your devices so send any one of the accounts that you have here to any of your devices of course using airdrop a really cool thing that you can do on your iPhone is charge it using your iPad. So here I have my iPad Pro right here and if I don't have anywhere to charge my iPhone, I have my iPad with me, I can use it as a power bank. Just plug in your device to charge, of course, plug in the other end on the iPad and you will be able to actually charge your iPhone using your iPad as a power bank. When you go to your email app, the stock email app of iPhone, you will see here the list of your emails and you see like the title right there and you will see two lines. That's the preview, of course, of the email, the contents of the email. Now you can change that by going to settings and go to mail right here and right here you will be able to go to preview and choose what you want to see. You can switch to none one line up to five lines you can see right here it shows you just the emails like that or you can go up to five lines and see a very big preview of the email and of course what it contains if you have an apple watch and you have the fitness app did you know that if you go to your activity and tap right there it will take you to this section where you can tap on the calendar and you can take a look at the activity for the past days you will have here the calendar all the days right here you can just tap on one of them and it will show you the details regarding that day and what it does also shows you all the workouts that you did now what's really really cool is that if you have any of these awards right here you can go ahead and share them with someone of course by saving them as pictures now i can do that simply by tapping on one of them tap the share button and just go ahead and save this as an image it will be saved under your library as a photo and of course you can go ahead and share it from there so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some amazing iphone features that i know a lot of people don't actually know about and probably haven't ever used them on their iphone and of course some of them need to be enabled so in this video you can of course also learn how to enable those so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one